Hey ya, it's your girl Buya and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I do my foundation routine for dry skin. Prepping your skin before applying base makeup is really important, especially for people with dry skin. So to hydrate my face, I'm using Fayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel in the Rose Petal Formula. To lock in that hydration, I'm using Happy Skin's Hyaluronic Plus V3 Boost Water Cream. Napakaganda talaga ng product na to because yung main ingredients niya ay hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and ceramide and nagigear towards hydrating and moisturizing the dry skin talaga. Of course, never forget your lips. So to prep my lips, I'm using the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. For my foundation, I'm using the Squad Cosmetics You Can Face It Liquid Foundation in the shade Medium Tan. And what I do is I first target my blemishes para dun talaga concentrated yung foundation. And what I like to do is I apply small foundation strokes in a very minimal amount as much as possible all over my face. And then to blend out the foundation, I'm using this buffing brush from NYX Professional Cosmetics. This is a really, really good brush. Just sad to say that NYX isn't available here in the Philippines anymore. Always remember, when you're blending out your foundation, make sure that your stroke should be upward. You would want to blend your foundation upwards just so you don't create wrinkles in the process. People with dry skin tend to produce lines or wrinkles faster than a normal skin type or an oily skin type. So make sure that you are conscious with every blend that you make. And then I'm going through a second layer of the foundation on my blemishes just to target it and really cover it. And then to brighten up my face, I'm using the same foundation but in a different shade. So this is in the shade Warm Light naman. And I'm applying very very little strokes on my under eye areas, on my chin, and on my forehead area. You don't need to do those triangle highlighter hacks you see on Instagram. A small amount of foundation is already good. And to contour my face, I'm using the Careline Contour Stick. And if you're a person that has dry skin, I highly recommend that you start exploring on cream products, kagaya ng contour sticks or mga cream blushes. Kasi kapag nag-contour or blush powder lang yung mga may dry skin, parang pinatong lang siya na contour. Pero kapag cream, parang contour or blush siya from within. And then to set my face, I'm using the Squad Cosmetics You Can Face It Pressed Powder. This is in the shade Beige. And what I like to do is I gently press the brush and let it stay for about 2 to 5 seconds. And then that's when I powder off the rest of my face. So I target specific areas and let the brush sit there for a couple of seconds and then powder off my whole face. And the reason why I do that is because this is my way of baking my face without having to use a lot of powder because I have dry skin and if I put a lot of powder on my face, magiging mabigat yung feeling niya and masyado na siyang dry for me. And then to contour my face, I'm using this Vice Cosmetics and Anklutz na palette and I really love their contour because it complements the Morena skin well. And from the same palette, I'm highlighting the high points of my face. What I like about this highlighter is it gives a very wet kind of glow na nagko-contrast talaga sa dry skin natin. So it makes our dry skin look very dewy, which I love. And that's it! If you like this video, if you find it helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. If you have any makeup or beauty questions for me, you can always message me on my Instagram account. It's at Makeup by Buya. My DM is open 24-7 for any beauty questions that you have for me. Also, if you want to be a part of the BooFam community, we have a Facebook group and a Discord server. The links to those groups will be in the description box below. Just remember, no hate, just love.